Hello and welcome to another session of Alejandro Fixes It. As you can see today, we found ourselves in a conundrum where uh, we have to replace the toilet fill valve. So uh, these two tasks will be divided into two videos. Right now we're gonna focus on replacing this baby right here. This cheap plastic toilet fill valve will go into the garbage. It will be replaced by a new one. And then in the next video, the follow-up problem that we're going to fix is replace this baby right here so stay tuned for the next video right after this one um, because we found ourselves in the problem where both of them are messed up uh, so if if you got this baby not stopping even when the float is all the way in the top um, then that means that this baby needs to go and be replaced which is a pretty easy task and then if on top of that which is my scenario here you try to shut this off you close it as much as you can and then however after you close it it's still running uh, water still running through that means this thing already corroded in the inside and it's time to change it for a new one um, so we'll do that in the next video Right now, water is no longer running because I have shut off the main water valve. So step number one, make sure you shut off the main water valve, the main water of the house, uh, the water line, and then you know you you will be able to go to the next step, which is draining the water from the toilet and working on replacing these babies. So let's go to the next set. So next. Let's drain all of this water. First, we're going to flush this baby. This will get rid of most of the, of most of the water in the tank. And now for the water that's left here, we're going to have to drain it all through unscrewing this thing right here. Um, and make sure you put some tray or recipient to catch all of this water here. I don't have a lot of space to play with. So I put this yard here, it's gonna catch all the water. Let's see how this goes. Gonna have to give this hose a good clean because it looks pretty nasty it hasn't been cleaned in a while so next we're going to screw this baby right here so you get a better angle this pliers actually resulted a little bit more convenient than the than the range you're dealing with a plastic hard one here that's not very hard to turn okay so I haven't done the screw down here it got a little messy here I'm just gonna have to wipe down the water that sprinkled outside of this container next you're just gonna have to remove this now that the screw is off and all the water is gonna fall where it needs to fall like an art of magic Okay, so we have successfully drained all the water. We have unscrewed this from the bottom. Now, this thing is just has this little clip. It's attached to the tube. And look at that. We successfully taken out the crappy uh, fill valve. And of course, we ain't gonna need this no more. <coughs> Okay, so next we've taken out the new valve. Look how pretty it is. Um, we're going to insert it right in that hole. Um, first, we're gonna size it correctly. So we're going to move this pin up and then twist this in this direction to get the right height. The way you're gonna measure the right height is that this cap has to be roughly at the same level of the hole of the lever. So 
couple inches more make sure it reaches the same level roughly it has to be um, roughly an inch to half an inch down from the top roughly at the same height as this so you just play with it and set it up where it needs to be um, and once it's set up whoopsie daisy um, you're gonna lower that safety pin down again to secure it and then given that you see this sticking out you're going to secure it with this piece that comes with the new uh, valve, fill valve, screw it in, and then you're gonna screw this back in there. And it's gonna look perfect. Now, once you got it sized correctly, um, you wanna make sure that this little opening here, this where the hole's gonna be is pointing towards this tube that way, you know, the hose can directly go in that direction once we set that up. And now you're ready to screw this from the bottom. Now... Now let's finish off this job actually clean this nasty thing next i've inserted the hose into this thing the clip make sure it's in all the way la, 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 la. Make sure this is also in all the way and voila ladies and gents we have ourselves an installed new fill valve a um, couple things so this hose can be a little bit too long you can always cut it with a utility knife i didn't cut it i just left some slack uh, and twisted this thing this thing to the side so that uh, it's not gonna bump with the top once it's closed um, and and yeah this thing can still be pushed up and down to be adjusted to the right level right now it seems to be right where it needs to be at the same height as the lever next according to the instruction manual it's time to adjust the actual floaty so make sure that the top of the floaty as shown here in this diagram it goes um, as far up as the line, as the water level. The water level is about half an inch below the top of the tube. So when we look at this, um, somebody did the favor of marking it down here. So we wanna make sure that the floor is roughly at the same level as the water line. Uh, you might have to play with it once you turn on the water. Uh, you can play with it by twisting this either down or up. And once the water level gets to here, it's gonna shut off, stop pouring water through it, and you're gonna be able to start using your toilet. Amazing. So this is it for the water valve in installation, the fill valve installation. Uh, next up in the next video, so stay tuned. We're going to change this stop valve right here. Don't forget to like the video, hit subscribe to support this channel and till next time, thank you.